Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome to Total War Rise of Mordor, the Lord of the Rings modification. So, we are going to be diving in and taking a nice little early access look at the brand new update that will be coming in the next couple of weeks. I'll also make sure I leave the link to the Mod DB page down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. And obviously, I'll let you know exactly when the release date is, when we've actually got one. But this update is a doozy. It's absolutely amazing. The level of work that they're putting in at the moment is super impressive. And if you want to go ahead and keep up to date with all the work they've been doing make sure you go ahead and subscribe to their youtube channel i was recently on it playing some battles showing off the new update and they've also been live streaming constantly throughout the weeks all the new dev work that they've been putting in whether it's the new dwarven roster which we'll be taking a look at today whether it's their work on the campaign map which is looking absolutely beautiful uh, whether it's uh, you know animation work whether it's concept art they've been live streaming a ton there so if you're at least a tiny bit interested in this and you want to check out the projects that they've been working on then make sure you subscribe to their youtube channel and join their discord i'll leave links to it down below in the description but yes in this new update we have a complete rework to the dwarven erebor roster it was honestly one of the smallest rosters in the game and now it is one of the largest probably only comparable to a faction like gondor that has been thick for a long long time so that's amazing and the units look great we'll be taking a look at them momentarily they've also added in a complete new lighting rework so they've managed to get i believe the age of charlemagne lighting into a tiller and apparently that took a long time they had to completely re re uh reverse engineer it basically into a tiller and apparently that took like 50 hours to do so amazing that sim the game does look beautiful now so it's a real big improvement and there's also a ton of new custom maps. We'll be taking a look at the custom map of Dale and also having a little battle to see what the new Dwarven units are. And I believe there is also a brand new Elven unit as well in the game. They've also gone ahead and actually rebalanced a ton of the actual combat side of things as well, changing up how battles work. Archers now shoot a lot more rapidly, so they'll be like pinging off shots very quickly rather than like minutes between each volley. Uh, you know, it'll be like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. So that way, archers will be much more valuable in the battle itself. But look at this, the arrow roster is looking thick with two C's and I say that not lightly. Beforehand as I said Erebor was I think you know had about six units completely. Now it just has six units in it's just its shock infantry alone. Four infantry, two spears, it has some pole arms, it has some different archers, crossbows, skirmishers. Uh, the skirmishers are actually axe throwers which are really cool and obviously they're going to be lacking on cavalry but that's kind of a dwarven thing you know they don't have a lot of cavalry. Maybe one day they will be adding in the goat cavalry that we see in the battle of the five armies uh, but for now this this, this roster is looking absolutely crazy, really, really insane. Um, so yeah, we've got like a whole ton of different infantry there are going to be uh, the elite uh, reclaimers. Again, some of these elite infantry are going to be limited. So you've got stuff like the, uh, the these reclaimers right here. There's only one per army because they are ultra elite. We also have the Dwarven uh, Barrack Guard as well, only three of them, only one of the, the veterans right here. Uh, and then obviously, you know, a lot of the more mid-tier infantry, uh, which aren't going to be like their elite ones, you can have as many as you want. You've also got some really cool Spear Guard here, uh, some obviously some pole arm units, which we're going to bring in all of this in the battle momentarily. Uh, we also uh, have, as I said, I believe we go over to the Linden faction, we do also have a new uh, Noldrin Noble unit right here, which I believe is a... Yeah, it's a pole arm unit and it's really strong. 60 melee attack. Super does it insane. 72 melee defense. Even if the dwarfs probably don't have quite that far. Yeah, look at that. The, the melee defense on the dwarfs are 40. So yeah, that Elven unit is ridiculous. As well as that, they've also completely rebalanced numbers as well. So you can see a lot of this elite. Uh, a, a lot of this elite uh, shock infantry and stuff like that only has 100 men in this unit even just the normal basic dwarven infantry has 115 the elves are severely reduced as well down to 85 obviously you know there's not going to be as many of them but every soldier is going to be really elite then if you take a look at something like the uh, the orcs for example we go over to mordor you can obviously see their Orc Warriors have 225 soldiers. So it's basically there to, and the Elite Uruk Throng have 190. So basically double the Elves. It's basically there to represent like, you know, the Orcs having a, you know, just a numerical advantage. And then men necessarily aren't going to be as elite. So let's go ahead. Let's go over uh, to the map that we're going to be taking a look at. And that's obviously going to be Dale because again, it looks absolutely beautiful. 
Let me just get rid of this because of the old Attila bug, uh, where it resets the army every second. This is Gim Ben. We, we obviously won't be fighting on this battle, but I want to show you off the units and I want to show you off just how great uh, the, the, the new maps do look. Because though this is going to be Dale in its prime after it's been rebuilt. Obviously, you know, after Smog destroys it uh, and then it gets rebuilt in the in the War of the Ring or in towards the War of the Ring, uh, the city is rebuilt and this is kind of to represent that. Also, the, the new UI as well looks amazing. Like this Dwarven low bar because I'm playing as the dwarfs looks, uh, yeah, looks really nice. It's just the small touches like that which are, are really good and kind of just, you know, make you feel immersed in the universe. As well as that, if you haven't played since the uh, previous patch as well, they have also added in a new uh, complete custom music track. I'm going to be playing my own one because the one they've added in is DMCA, so I can't obviously do it because I'll get copyright claim. Um, but they've also got own, their own custom music, which hopefully at some point they will make into uh, into a, a soundtrack as well so that I don't have to have the music muted throughout whenever I play and add it in afterwards uh, for those of us who like it. Because again, the, the music I'm listening to right now is, is still absolutely beautiful. So let's go over here. I'll get all my entire army over here because we will go to Erebor. But yeah, this is the city of Dale. I mean, it looks really, really nice. Uh, very, very awesome work. And again, a lot of the, all this stuff is done with the uh, vanilla uh, assets as well. Generally, they don't use a lot of the vanilla assets uh, for the game because it does kind of kill the uh, the immersion. But honestly, they fit really well here. They've kind of used a lot of the uh, the Byzantine uh, Constantinople esque uh, stuff. And yeah, I mean, it really fits the, the theme of Dale. So super impressive there. Obviously, you've got Erebor from the distance. I was told that this is a uh, a work. This is kind of like a placeholder image for the gates of Erebor. This is going to be changed at some point. It's just right now. It just wasn't super important. But yeah, Ere Erebor, I mean, sorry, uh, Dale looks absolutely amazing. You have plenty of bridges into the city as well, uh, where you kind of have a very interesting battle. And obviously, you have this assault point as well. Again, I love this start battle symbol as well. So let's set up our army really quickly uh, so you guys can uh, see them in all their glory. Let's get the infantry set up here. Um, and then we will jump into a battle uh, in a second as well. So I, I basically just got every single unit I could so you guys can see all of them uh, and uh, how amazing they do look. I mean, as you can see, just the Dwarven roster is a meaty now. So let's start, I don't know, let's start at the back and work our way forward. So to start off with, we do have uh, the units of the Dwarf. These are the Sons of the Mountain and they look really cool. Where's uh, Dane himself as well? If we uh, There is like a custom model. Here he is. Uh, this guy is like supposed to be pretty much just look like Dane looks really really awesome I love his helmet as well uh, yeah looks awesome indeed so this is obviously one of the elite shock infantry for them looking very nice and ready for battle. Then as we go back, we have a lot of the infantry units. So we'll start from left to right. We have these are miners. These are literally like bottom of the barrel units. These are not combat troops. But again, if you just want a little bit of science sank to kind of hold up some, some shots, you can definitely bring these guys. As well as that, they also have custom uh, new custom faces and beards as well. That has been added in the most recent update, which is pretty impressive. We then have these guys. These are the reclaimers. They are absolutely deadly on the battlefield. I was using these guys in the... Um, I was just this as well. I was using these guys in the most recent uh, battle I did over on their on their YouTube channel, and they were just so strong. The dwarfs just held the line forever and ever. And uh, yeah, they look amazing. They've got cool capes on the back as well. Then as we go over, we do have some of the these. Oh, oh my god, my general is just talking. Hold on, give me a second, Dane. Shut your mouth, okay? Uh, then we do have some of just the basic infantry. These guys, again, just the, the mid-tier infantry. But you can see that they've been completely reworked as well. New custom armor pieces uh, added to them. Uh, swords, axes, and a whole wealth of nice weapons on them. So really cool there. And I brought, what, four units of them bad boys? Yeah, I did indeed. So let me go over to the Dwarven Warriors. These are, I think, the, so these guys are the upper tier version of them. Uh, and then we have kind of these guys who are a tier below them. Again, just kind of a little bit less armor, but lighter. Uh, so they can kind of be a bit more maneuverable for the dwarves and obviously a little bit cheaper as well so you can see them bad boys looking nice as well then as we go over we do also have i was that open the four units of these guys i guess i did yeah i did bring a lot of them didn't i uh then so we've, we've looked at all of them then if we go over to the shock infantry and this is obviously uh where we want to be so we have some of the uh the six units of dwarven shock infantry we have these guys who are the barrack guard these are the upper echelon 
of the Dwarven Shock Infantry, the Creme de la Creme. Uh, anyway, give him a look at right. Huge axes ready for battle, ready to get himself stuck in. Uh, they even got capes on the back as well. These beautiful royal capes look amazing. Uh, really nice stuff. So I brought what, three units of them because why not? We then also have a unit of these uh, Mithrin veterans. Again, looking very nice indeed. Huge hammers instead of axes. I love the helmets as well. Uh, really nice work on them helmets for sure. You can see them up close and personal there. Looking very nice. Yeah, the detail on these Dwarven units is amazing. And I can't wait to see the modders, you know, the next factions they're going to work on. These Dwarves have really set a very high precedent for them to work on now. Then as we go over, we do have some more of the Dwarven Shock Infantry, the Warriors, Warriors of the Red Mountain. Uh, again, looking very good indeed with the new custom beards that they do have. And you guys can see their weapons, new custom weapons as well. You can see the differences in the weapons, the helmets, the armor, the red cloth as well. Very nice indeed. Then as we go over, I brought a couple of them units. We do also have another unit of shock infantry, the uh, Matok Warriors. Again, I believe these are going down in price now. So from left to right, these are kind of lower tier shock infantry. But I wouldn't really class them as low tier. They're still going to get a lot of damage stuck in. Uh, really, really are going to be dangerous. And then finally, we have this unit of variable axes. These guys are going to be much cheaper, but still pretty deadly. As you can see, their axes aren't going to be as high quality, aren't going to be as meaty, but still a unit that can very much get themselves stuck in. Then as we go over to the spears again, sorry, this is a, a long, long troop highlight, but uh, I guess you could always skip ahead if you want to see the battle itself. We do have these are just replacing the normal, uh, the normal spearmen that we do now have. Again, really nice update, new custom shields and stuff. Basically, everything has been reworked from vanilla, so really nice work there by the modders. We then also have the spear guard here. Again, these guys are just will be iron guard, I should say. Again, nice new shields, really nice looking helmets. What more can I say? Uh, then we have some of the halberd infantry. So again, nothing too crazy here. These are the uh, medium tier arable halberds. Again, nothing too crazy. Just a decent setup. And then we have the Tomb Guardians. These guys are beautiful. I mean, look at that armor. They have just, yeah, really high morale. Health is 105. Armor is 75. These guys are just relentlessly uh, OP. I'm going to be able to just get stuck. And also, because they have such high armor as well, it means they're going to be able to actually resist some missile fire quite nicely. So, obviously, we've seen the escort merchants. I don't think these guys have been updated at all. Uh, we do have some more bowmen, though. Uh, so, these are the crossbowmen. They've actually been given... Oh, did not mean to go back to the, uh, the shock infantry. I know we like to see the shock infantry. Uh, but, yeah, these are the new crossbowmen. Again, they've just kind of got the new armor pieces that the rest of the dwarfs have. Nothing too special. We do have the axe throwers here. So, these guys are, are lobbing their axes uh, rather than any javelins or anything. Obviously, a much lighter infantry or I guess much lighter skirmisher unit. We have some of the Erebor Bowmen. Uh, we have, uh, then we have some of the Dwarven Scouts as well. And that's going to be the complete new Dwarven roster. I mean, it's pretty insane the level of detail they've gone to with these guys. The units look absolutely amazing. So what we'll do go ahead and do right now is we will go ahead and just jump into a battle. I do have a replay coming uh, on uh, on this map and also a nice little lamb map as well to show off some of the new elven units but i mean yeah i mean look at this beautiful map the lighting looks great um so yeah really impressive update so far so let's jump ahead let's go ahead and go into the brand new uh dwarves and we'll, we'll take a look at them in a battle Okay, guys, so we are now in the battle, ready to see what our Dwarven Menace is capable of. So we're just going to basically push these guys up. I believe this is one of the newer land battle custom maps as well, which is pretty cool that we're getting one of those. I'm not sure if we can quite see the Elven units uh, quite yet, the Linden units, the new ones. Uh, I don't think any of them are in my vision at the moment. Oh, over here. Uh, yeah, these guns, the Noldoran Spears. You can't really see them too well because they are obviously in the forest, but yeah, look at them. Uh, looking very nice with their new armor. Again, going to be a big help. But obviously, the elves do still need uh, a handful of units to really fill out their roster. And obviously, something like that is going to be on its way. And we can obviously just see my dwarven boys marching up. We'll get into range of them. And I guess we will probably just obviously just charge them pretty much and just try and overrun them. Because there have been massive balance changes, obviously, to the game. Now that, I mean, you can barely even see the dwarves. But yeah, now that they've, they've really like looked at and changed up exactly how many uh, units are in 
each of these factions can make a big difference, I think. The elves only having 85 to 100 men in their units is going to be huge. The dwarves only having like 115 is going to give the evil factions, I think, a big boost to what they need. And then, and again, a lot of it is it's going to make their, their worst units just that bit better, which I think is a very hard thing to do in the game. Because it's going to allow their, their crappier units, the units that are always going to lose against the elves, the ability just to stick around that a little bit longer. Because previously, I think the elves were around about 120 el or men or elves, or whatever you want to call it, in a unit. So they would just cut through the bigger Mordor units very quickly. And then it meant that the Mordor units couldn't really do what they were supposed to do, which is hold and bulk down the enemy. However, now the elves are going to have, you know, now they're, they're lacking 40 extra elves in their unit. They're going to be struggling. Well, not struggling. They're going to be, it's going to be taking them much longer time to actually cut through them smaller crappier Mordor units or whatever meaning that the more elite ones can outflank and kind of do a lot more and then that, that kind of numerical advantage can really come into play and give the uh, the forces of evil that little bit of boost I think they definitely definitely do need and uh, yeah I mean one, once Mordor get trolls added which obviously are being worked on it's gonna be absolutely amazing I cannot wait for that it's gonna make the Mordor roster extremely scary uh, and uh, yeah very dangerous indeed uh, so I can't wait for that. Let's just obviously tell our MG to run now. Let's get our, get, let's pump these dwarven legs. I want to get my, my axe lodged into an elven skull uh, already. And I want to see what they are capable of. And also we'll obviously see as well in this, uh, in this update, the, how fast the elven archers do shoot now as well. They'll be volleying off very quickly compared to what they were previously. Giving the elven archers that ability to, uh, yeah, go pew pew. And I think it's obviously a, a very good change for the game because no one really brought archers in any competitive game, which was always a shame. But now we'll actually start to see these elven archers, uh, you know, doing what they do best and, you know, getting them kills. They still have the same ammunition. It just means they get through that ammunition quicker, which I think is much better for the balance of the game. And uh, yeah, it makes uh, stuff like this way, way more important. So again, our dwarves are just moving up. The cavalry can just kind of chill for now. No need to really overcommit them. You can also see as well the, uh, the just small UI updates like this you know now that these uh the, all the units you select now have this uh this ring around them obviously when you do this as well you can kind of notice it uh again looks really cool just kind of these small additions are really starting to polish off nice aspects of this mod so it's super super impressive to see the work and detail that they are putting into to this uh, i mean obviously they're always putting the work and detail into it but i feel like recently they've really been able to uh yeah do some really impressive stuff and it seems like the team is in a very very good situation to push on and uh yeah hopefully just bring us more more and more really exciting stuff and that's why i do recommend that you guys do go ahead and subscribe to their youtube channel and obviously join their discord because you get to see all of that in the work in progress they uh they've, yeah, they've been hosting streams pretty much you know a couple every single week we've been seeing how the campaign map has been developing and again if you don't know if you're like kind of new to the model you haven't followed it recently they are working on a custom rise of mordor campaign map that not only works on a visual level but also works for the ai as well they're developing their own tools which will allow them to tell the ai what's happening because uh, previously a lot of people thought that was impossible and uh, they've actually found ways to get around that and i think they've also kind of really uh, got to grips with the attila engine as well and there's a lot more possible than what we all thought was possible you know a long time ago uh, they can do a lot more it's just kind of what fits with the game and what you know will will fit with the overall kind of theme of it so we've got our dwarves in position now the elven line we're about to come into their, their kind of range of fire which is going to be very scary but as soon hopefully the front line just kind of hold it and then what we'll do is we will uh get the shock infantry in momentarily so i guess we're gonna we're gonna kind of go a little bit faster obviously i'm also very interested to see how the axe throwers work as well obviously they're gonna be lobbing axes but i'm interested to see how that does look because i don't think there is a single axe throwing unit in total war tiller so we'll have to see how that does turn out we obviously also have our cavalry as well so one of the real downsides to the dwarven roster is obviously going to be the uh is obviously going to be the the ability to deal with cavalry and obviously cavalry is so deadly in this mod uh, it's going to be very very interesting you can already start to see the the, the speed of which these arrows are coming in uh, already doing a decent amount of damage to my line uh, so yeah, I mean, I think this makes much more sense. You can see the elves are running through that ammunition very quickly. Uh, they're able to get a lot of it off a lot more efficiently than previously. Normally, they'd be able to fire like two volleys in this time. And this time, they fired like four or five. It makes a lot more sense, I think. And uh, yeah, it really, really fits the game much more effectively. Let's keep on advancing onto them. Do not stop, boys. I want to get myself stuck in. Uh, and uh, yeah, ready to fight ASAP. See these elven archers volleying off. Shot after shot, 
And this should make the, like, just basically just make all archers uh, really, really strong. Obviously, the elves in particular. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, counter charge here against the elves. Obviously, we probably should be in shield wall, but screw it. We are getting ourselves stuck in. So let's just everyone to hold their line. Everyone hold their line and we'll engage them here. Let's keep on pushing up here. Let's try and scare off some of their, their cavalry units. Let's get the shock infantry around the side. Get some more infantry up here. A lot of forest area. Can I turn off the forest uh, foliage in the settings? That would be interesting. Is that something I can do in this game? I actually have no idea if it is at all possible. I don't think it is, actually. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it is. Because obviously in, in future games, you can turn a lot of that stuff off. But it's fine. Forest still looks good. Let's get some of the axes in. Uh, we've got some of our archers here as well. Obviously, we want to be focusing down them. We've got some more shock infantry. We'll throw in there. We'll get some close-ups momentarily. We've got some more spear guard here. A lot of our axe infantry, which we will push through the forest here to engage the uh, the Noldrin units. Obviously, have our halberds here as well. Uh, got some more of our spears pushing through the forest here. Uh, yeah, we'll get the tomb guardians up there. We have some more of our crossbows there. Where are axe? I mean, obviously, our general as well. Where are our axe throwers? They're up here somewhere, right? The axe throwers are right here. Okay, well, let's get these guys around the flank here because this seemingly is where we want to go. We'll get some more of these guys stuck in. Uh, yeah, you guys go after that. We'll put some swordsmen into them. Uh, we've got some more axes here. I guess we'll get these axes, like, set up here and then, like, probably charging into that would be pretty good. And we'll get some of our, our units here, the, the Matok warriors smashing into the side of the Noldrins. So they've also gone ahead as well and updated the overall skeleton of the Dwarven unit as well. The unit is, I believe, 10% kind of uh, larger and we've added a bunch more muscle mass to them as well. So I think the actual proportions of the Dwarves in this update, again, look much better. So again, really nice kind of improvement. They've gone ahead and stuck up there. I guess you guys go into that. We've got our swords, obviously, into the, uh, the, the matchlocks there, which is fine. You guys are being surrounded and killed. And obviously, we have a big push on this right flank as well which you're going to obviously want to use uh, got some cavalry will stick around the flanks but it's, I don't really care too much about like winning this battle I don't want to see some of the units in combat especially the shock infantry as well I want to see what they are capable of can see the clouds coming over this battlefield as well as it's a sunny day so the lighting will change as the clouds obviously move past in the sky you can see some of these axemen now Looking very nice, the shade of the trees. Some of the lower tier Dwarven units just trying their best to keep the enemy at bay as arrow follies come flying in. We have some of the, uh, the low tier shock infantry over here as well. Doing a pretty good job against the Dwarven Spears. We've got the brand new unit from the Elves here as well, fighting in the shade. And that's what I really like about the new lighting. Like, this is dark, obviously, because they are under the trees or in the shade. But it's not, like, pitch black. You can still tell, you can still see the detail on the units, even if you know it is dark. Whereas previously, it was just, like, pitch black and you couldn't really see a single thing that was going on whatsoever. Okay, we've got some units on the far right flank now. The cavalry has actually been caught out. I want to throw in the, uh, the, these warriors here. So send these guys in there. And where are the uh, tomb guards as well? Team guards are right here. Yeah, let's see if they're, they're capable of taking on the uh, the Noldrins. I mean, I imagine the Noldrins will probably do a pretty good job. We also have this uh, Phalanx advance as well, which means they'll go forward. I mean, I imagine we'll probably struggle here because they obviously have much longer spears. Maybe if we just kind of like pull through a little, we can get our, get our units a little bit further in as well. Something like that, I think, is a little bit more effective. But obviously, we've got the, uh, the Barrack Guard coming rushing in here. One of the nice things as well about a lot of the Dwarven Elite units is they all have Encourage as well. So basically, they just have this ability to really boost morale across the board, uh, which again, I think really fits them. Mordor on a lot of their Elite units have War Cries, um, and obviously, the Dwarves will have that ability to Encourage. And look at this. The Dwarves are brutal uh, at short distances. We'll definitely see that as they come flying into the back here. Really go ahead and support this fight and they'll be doing a very nice job here in the back of the elves really really nice stuff there the the elves are actually cutting me through on this other slank uh but we can do those we can now hopefully see uh the axe for us are these guys in range now we start seeing some axes being lobbed yeah there you go the axe is being pulled out and then lobbed into battle i imagine these guys have very good armor piercing hitting a lot of my own friendly units in the back there but i guess it is what it is do we have any reserves as well? Oh, we must have our, our special unit here as well, don't we? Yeah, we do. 
The elves are really like smashing me up on that flank. Got some more halberds here. These just the northern dwarven halberds. Yeah, they are indeed. We have the spear guard as well. We can throw forward. You can really see though the quality of the elves in action. You know, with the, they've got small numbers, but they're, they're obviously going to be very elite. And I really like that balance change. Oh, these guys have just broken here. Okay, we'll get stuck in there, boys. Then we'll brace ourselves as well here. And you can just see the elite Dwarven General units. These guys look so bulky. I love the new Dwarven uh, skeleton that they've added. Hopefully we have to wrap up the, uh, the engagement there and really do some decent damage. Obviously we have some more spears we might as well commit. Some more Dwarves who have come back from routing. We'll throw all of them in. We actually have this in complete flank as well, completely wrapped up. Okay. Are the Elven Archers out of ammunition yet? No, the Elven Archers are still going. Oh my god, over on this side as well. We have been hit pretty rapidly. Okay. Cavalry, come down here. Let's, uh, let's no messing about now. Let's send our Cavalry in. Go deal with these Archers. They're also outflanking me here. Oh yeah, we also have the, uh, the Reclaimers over here as well. Going to go in against the Elven units. And engage them. Really nice looking unit here as well. Look at the weapons on the Reclaimers as well. Let's get, try to get a good look at these weapons as well. Really nice. They should be able to make quick work of that. How's our cavalry doing as well? So yeah, our cavalry is now smashing into their, their, their archer line, which is good. Hopefully try and keep them down, pinned down for a decent amount of time. Uh, obviously, we have Dane himself fighting hard. We actually have a Warcry ability as well. So let's pop that down. I think that's just the general, uh, general upgrade ability there. Some are, oh, we have some, uh, some more. These are our halberds being stuck into them, yeah. How did the uh, reclaimers do? We also have this shock infantry in, uh, stuck in as well. Pretty deep, like, dense forest here, so we don't really have too much. Oh, these guys also have a war cry as well. Very nice. Yeah, so a lot of, uh, a lot of general abilities. You can really stick off uh, boosting your own morale, reducing the enemy morale. A lot of stuff you can do there. So let's send them spears off and then like this. Take these uh, these red mountain units. And I guess we want to probably move, make our way over here. It does seem like the uh, black guard, or the bar barrack guard even, are definitely up against it. They're down to 55 men, but they've got 115. And again, every kill we get on them is going to be very important. Just because of the lack of their numbers. Uh, again, if we take a look at the uh, balance power, you can see that we had double their numbers. And I spent, I, I, I spent a very average amount... Um, on this battle. Let's get all our missiles and let's try and start working down this unit right here. Uh, I do want to see that unit taken care of. The Axemen can maybe come around here and then hit these guys in the side. Seems like their archers are going to be able to, to kind of hurt me a little bit. But I would love to get some axes into the side of the shock infantry and help out my uh, my reclaimers who seemingly are facing the wrong way. Oh my god, these elders are getting hammered by or axed I should say. Not hammered, axed uh, in the side. That is brutal indeed. Can we get another volley? Are you guys at? No, you guys aren't out of ammunition. I can see you guys stuck in. Oh, my miners. My poor miners in their long johns. Unfortunately, I'm going to be getting cut down there. That's fine, though. That's fine. Got some more axemen in. And yeah, this seemingly is our, our big push right here. We've got a lot of soldiers in. Let's get some more shock infantry around the side. Some more dudes in here. And the, uh, the crossbows can move over a little bit as well. We also have an entire other unit of halberds. It's definitely moving there and reinforced that. We got kind of a bit caught out there, but that's fine. And nice, I actually managed to break these guys with the support of our units there. Uh, able to do a good job. More cavalry coming in as well. Cavalry is obviously always going to be super strong. And I think always you're going to have to, you definitely have to bring a lot of cavalry uh, whenever you play the dwarves. Or just not, well, not a lot, but you have to bring uh, the most cavalry you can really. Uh, and just play super defensive with it, I think. Let's give these archers around the side there. Plenty of, uh, of extra spear infantry and other units we can reinforce here. Uh, this unit of what is this spear? Iron Guard? Yeah, this is Iron Guard right here. Can we get a nice little zoom in on them? God, you, you can't really see too much because of how, how tall the shrubbery is. You know, dwarves fighting bravely though. Gotta respect it. Got some archers around the side as well now. Nice. The Reclaimers did end up winning that battle as well so we can help out. We got, we got a unit of, uh, of our dwarven ranged travelers. So the low tier units, they can just volley into the back here of the Noldrian archers. Able to, uh, yeah, deal with them pretty effectively, I imagine. Oh, that's a good volley as well. 
Oh, we definitely want to be killing these guys, though. Holy crap. Oh, but if, reclaim if these reclaimers can get in on them before they can form up. Nice. They did as well. Yeah, now that these guys aren't that effective in there, they're not like... They're pretty breached, I would say. We should be able to do a good job there. Got these halberds as well. Let's move in. And yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're basically breaking them everywhere. It's just obviously uh, their, their elite, elite elves are still holding. Barrett Guard stuck in here as well. All racking up a decent amount of kills, especially with our cavalry as well. Cavalry's been able to do uh, some pretty serious work. But I mean, the elves have not been fighting lightly or whatsoever. Let's move in here. Let's see how effective our cavalry can be. Got crossbows as well. Obviously, we want to focus down that general. We've also got some units in the forest here, but the, uh, the dwarves are doing a good job there. Yeah, I want to see how effective the cavalry charges can be in the back of these guys. Pretty goddamn effective. My god, we sent them flying. That should be enough to break them. I imagine. And this unit still has 29 morale, even after that. Hit from both sides, though. Reclaimers should do some good jobs, uh, some good damage there. I think this battle is pretty much wrapped up now. Oh my god, a unit of uh, Halberd still stuck alive. That's insane. I mean, they're pretty screwed now, right? Because we're no longer in formation. But still, my god, they did a good job. We've just got a unit over here as well we can take care of. This, obviously, we're fighting. Pretty, uh, pretty juicy. God damn, the new update is beautiful. The dwarves are looking amazing. And honestly, I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do next, honestly. Like, this, this faction has basically been rebuilt from the ground up. Um, so it's going to be super impressive to see the next faction they work on. And uh, hopefully, it'll look just as beautiful as this. I'm a big Ma Mordor fanboy, so I hope they obviously... I mean, again, Mordor's not in a bad situation. They have a lot of units. Um, I imagine Rohan's probably pretty high up on their, their list of things to do next. Uh, which, again, if they look anything as, as amazing as these guys, they're going to look really, really good. Um, but yeah, I imagine Mordor's... I mean, sorry, Rohan is probably going to be up on their, their roster of, of things to do. Uh, just so, solely because... It's one of the main factions who doesn't really have any units at the moment. But again, any any unit, any faction maybe they look to redo is going to be, yeah, really, really impressive. Uh, so I can't wait for that. Um, again, Isengard. I mean, again, it's crazy looking at these other rosters. It's kind of crazy. Uh, you know, like, just how meaty the Dwarven roster is now. You know, I thought, yeah, Isengard's got a pretty good roster. But again, looking at, looking at Erebor, it's like, ah, oh, do they actually? Uh, I mean, obviously, Gondor have a very nice roster. I mean, I, actually, I think Erebor have a bigger roster than Gondor now. Uh, that's that's crazy cool. Uh, really, really good to see. Obviously, the elves are going to need some love. I think all of the elven factions need, uh, you know, an extra couple of units for sure. And that stuff will come. You know, again, Dale, Gondor, and Erebor are probably the most complete factions. Uh, so that's awesome, man. Cannot wait to see what they add next. And uh, yeah, really good update. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and obviously be over on my Discord. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this update and you want to keep on seeing more Rise of Mordor. I do have two battles, one on the Settlement of Dale and one on uh, just an open field battle with the Elves and Mordor and stuff like that. So make sure you subscribe. I'll be uploading them probably later this week and I'll see you guys in the next one.